How often an occurrence is it to have a door open on an airplane in mid-flight? Well, if you watch this channel for any length of time, you'd think it happens all the time, and it really is actually quite rare. We've covered a couple of accidents where a Bonanza and another one was a Baron, and the door opened up and the pilots got distracted. Here's another episode in Southern California where a Sling aircraft uh, has a door open up, but it has a good outcome. This pilot does a great job. Let's watch. Special on the upwind is a right downwind departure, straight up departure approved, runway 27 right, clear for takeoff, wind 200 at Niner. Takeoff, 27 right, 5-2 Alpha Golf, and let's now inside. So 5-2 Alpha Golf is the aircraft in question here. Uh, he's just been cleared for takeoff. He's been reported traffic, which is a Cessna on an upwind. And so he's looking out for his traffic. He just reports back, all right, clear for takeoff. He's rolling down the runway now. Thinks he's got his doors closed tightly. He does not. And once he rotates, one of those doors is going to come open. We've seen this go really poorly with other aircraft in the past. This guy does a really terrific job in it, but boy, it, it really gets involved here in a second. One Hotel Kilo, only two seven right, clear to land. Your number one traffic over Lake Jennings at 2300 Cherokee. Land number one, uh, any chance for a short approach, Hotel Kilo? One Hotel Kilo, short approach approved. All right, right about now it happens. Door open on a sling. Keep flying it, buddy. All right, I'm going to stop the video right there. This guy's taking video from down on the ground. He's also giving us color commentary as he goes. But you can see this little single engine airplane. And there's like a bump on the top of the airplane. You go, what in the world is that? That's the door that's open. So those doors kind of open up this way. And one of the doors, his door has popped open. This is where it's really um, tempting for the pilot to get completely distracted by this. First of all, it's hugely loud inside the airplane. You can hardly hear yourself think. Any little piece of paper, any little bit of dust, any dirt, it all gets blown up into your face, you're rubbing your eyes, uh, and, and you're thinking, oh my word, what happened? Now, the instinctive response is to try to grab the door and close it, right? And that's like the worst thing they can do, because now you've got that airflow over that door, and it's probably slammed all the way open. It might even be kind of broken on the hinges. And if you're wrestling with this, you're going to stop flying the airplane, and that extra drag out there is not your friend. So what happens in many of these cases is the pilot gets distracted, the airplane begins to stall. The guy on the ground knows exactly what he thinks is going to happen, and he's given this guy advice from quite a long distance. Let's see how he does. Fly it. Or we need to land at 5 Golf. Golf, Roger. See that Fly door open? Are you able to make a uh, teardrop? So the so he makes he has the presence of mind to make a nice radio call. He actually the pilot sounds kind of calm, which is good. That, that gives you an insight to his frame of mind. The uh, tower controller says, uh, do you want to do a teardrop? What is that? Well, basically, if you just drew a teardrop on a piece of paper, he's saying go straight out, turn around and come back to the opposite runway. That's probably the quickest way back to pavement for this guy. He's not going to do that. He's going to go all the way around in a racetrack pattern and come around. But this is where if he's airborne too long or he tries to get that door closed, he could get distracted. He could stall this airplane. The guy on the ground is going to give him a lot of advice. Fly it. Don't you stall it. And we'll get right back to this. But first, a quick word from our sponsor. You know, I've spent most of my life flying airplanes, crossing time zones, living out of suitcases, sleeping in hotel rooms. It all kind of blurs together. For a long time, I didn't think much about my health. I just power through. If something hurt, I'd walk it off. If I had a cough, I'd wait for the air to clear at 38,000 feet. But lately, I've been thinking, well, differently. I'm in a season where I want to be around for the long haul, for my family, for the people I care about, and honestly, just to feel better day to day. And part of that means actually going to the doctor. The problem is I hate trying to book appointments. You call a dozen places, you're on hold forever, and half the time they don't even take your insurance. That's why today's video sponsor, ZocDoc, has been a game changer. It's a free website where you can find doctors who actually take your insurance, see their availability, read reviews, and book right then and there. No phone tag, no wondering if they're in network. It just makes the whole process way less annoying. And honestly, that makes me way more likely to actually take care of stuff before it becomes a 
bigger issue. Dermatologists, mental health professionals, dentists, eye doctors, and much more. It takes two minutes and you'll feel better just getting it on the calendar. You don't even have to talk to anyone, just book with a few clicks. Plus, ZocDoc appointments happen fast, typically within just 24 to 72 hours of booking. You can even score same-day appointments. So if you've been putting off that appointment, try ZocDoc. Go to ZocDoc.com slash Captain Steve, also linked in the description to find and instantly book a top-rated doctor today. Thanks to ZocDoc for supporting our channel. Sponsors like this help us to make more content for you. Okay, let's start a climb, go around. Don't stall it, fly the plane. Okay, now look, the airplane looks like it's descending. And from his point of view, it is. You know, he's also in a right-hand turn coming back around. But as he's kind of descending, he's thinking, oh my word, this guy's gotten distracted and we're about to see a fireball here in a minute. So he's very adamant with don't stall the airplane, don't stall the airplane. And he's absolutely right. The problem is the pilot can't hear him. No. No. No, don't stall it, dude. Oh, now he's, anyone, he's recovered. Like we can make it around, uh, just a door came open on us. Yeah, no big deal. Just a door came open on us, right? He sounds pretty casual. Uh, the tower controller's saying, you know, clear to land. You come on around. And what's going to happen in most of these situations is when he doesn't get a response back from the pilots, he's basically going to clear out the entire airport and say, you're cleared to land on any runway you want. The whole place is yours. He knows what's going on here, and a good air traffic controller will do that. This tower controller, he's great. Do you uh, require any assistance? Now, he doesn't get a response to this. Do you know why? He probably didn't even hear it up in the cockpit. He's busy wrestling with this airplane, and it's so loud. I don't think he hears many of these transmissions. I think the pilot's kind of almost broadcasting in the blind, letting Tower know what he's going to do. He's going to call him some more, and it's not going to get much of a response. Do you want one, seven? I, you know, too busy for that. Do you want one, seven, or are you going to do the whole lap? Right, and the answer to that is, I didn't even hear you. And eventually he comes back, he says, say again? Loud, uh, say again for off call? One seven, or do you want the full pattern? Uh, two alpha golf, any runway, clear to land. Any runway, clear to land. He doesn't get a response to that. I think if, if he even heard him, he's probably thinking, no, I just want a pair of adult diapers. At this moment, I'm trying to get this airplane on the ground. I'm trying not to lose airspeed. I'm wrestling with all this noise and the wind in this cockpit. But he's doing a pretty good job so far. He's got it almost all the way around. Uh, he's going to ask him for a short approach. And that means I want to get this baby on the ground as fast as I can. I don't want to go all the way down 10 miles and, and come back. I want to get this airplane on the ground. Uh, let's see, let's try for a short approach, uh, inside of Rattlesnake, if that's okay. Take a 342, try to climb, go ring. Okay, so this pilot's got the presence of mind to express his intentions. We're going to come inside Rattlesnake, I'm going to get this thing right down on the ground. Okay, everybody knows, that everybody's on the same page, and the pilot is doing a superior job here. Go around, 342. Clearing out more traffic now. Okay, you can drop to the right traffic pattern. Number two, following traffic short final, runway 27 right, we don't. 27 right, uh, third by word, number what? All right, I'm gonna watch him, he's coming around. We're gonna fast forward here for you. He's coming around, he's lined up on the runway, and... Alpha golf, left or right next taxiway. Safely on the ground. Delta two, Alpha golf. Now, when you look at the aircraft now safely on the ground, you notice, well, what happened to the door? I thought the door was open. Well, now that he's slowed down, he's on the ground, the door just kind of comes down and closes. It's easy to do when you're on the ground. It's not so easy to do when you're going 120 knots. So again, uh, the door kind of comes down. You think, well, there, was there really a problem? Yeah, there was a problem the whole time. All right, here we go. Delta Golf, a left on Delta 2, hold short, runway 2, question. Cross runway 27 left and contact ground. 27 left and over the ground, Alpha Golf. And by the way, kudos to the guy who got all of this on video. He stuck with this airplane the whole way around. So we get the privilege of being able to watch the entire episode as it happens in real time. And you get to see what a great job the pilot did. Now, again, 
Should he have made sure his doors were locked and closed? Yeah. Do mistakes happen? Sure. But did he recover from the mistake? Well, yeah, he did. Did a great job with it. And we've seen several uh, videos on this channel alone where pilots got distracted and they and everybody else on board died. Sadly, that is so easy to have happen when a door comes open like this. Uh, but this guy does a great job. He taxied off the ramp uh, and then he got his, his situation figured out, probably cleaned up the mess on the inside of the airplane. And instead, he departed shortly after that. Uh, if it were me, I think I'd probably want to take the rest of the day off. I just, you know what? When you've had an issue like this, I think you just kind of want to go home and, and, and hug the wife and kids and uh, think about coming flying another day. But you know what? There are men that are made of more steel than I am. And this guy fixed his door issue and departed later on. And apparently he didn't have any more incidents because there are no more videos of this aircraft for Captain Steve to do on this channel. Great job by everybody on this one. It really, really worked out well. Now you know. I'm Captain Steve. Fly safe.